Well, I've been in the Yukon. I've been in the Yukon since September 22nd, and it was a wild, wild motherfucker, motherfucker of a winter in every sense of the word. Get a little of this bullshit. Anyway, that's another Yukon thing. Random fucking moment. Buddy, your penis is so big. Almost as big as your wheels. And you know, just when you want to be all art, art, artistic and shit, life happens, so there we go. That, that was actually pretty much how my winter was. So, it's coming to an amazing close here. And I want to document this beautiful scenery. So this is Range Road where I live. Up in the fucking, right across from Mountain View Place, which is a trailer park along a stretch that does a little whip around. That I don't know if anyone saw my I Stop Being a Little Bitch video, but that's where I would catch the bus. And just along this, this is the first entrance of the Northland Trailer Park where I live. And mine's just down the way. A bus, one bus stop here and I just wanted to take a moment because I'm gonna be leaving soon and the trees there's nothing quite like these trees they just go all the way down all the way down but give you an idea of how awesome our bus schedule is look we haven't got any on Sundays Monday to Friday and that's that's all she wrote, you know? That's all she wrote. Well, how fitting is that? Look at Squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. Oh, and he's gone. Well, too bad Lisa wasn't here. We have this affinity with squirrels a joke just because I get so jacked up on coffee most of the time. This is the entrance to the Northland Trailer Park and um, coincidentally I looked into Squirrel Totem and they actually represent a lot of symbolism that is a lot of what I'm going through in my life. Um, I'll post a link below just to give you a little bit of that. But here we go. Just when you think it can't get any richer. White Horse, the brightest and nicest thing is the sun. I mean, the, the, the people here are, are, don't get me wrong, are just generous as ever. And um, it's either what, completely awesome or total assholes. But um, that's like life anywhere. So right behind my house here, I'm gonna take a, a little travel down this, this um, trail that I like didn't even know was here for like the first three months. And like my lazy ass is just sitting at home thinking, what am I gonna do? And the whole time I found out that there's like a shitload of fucking trails back here. And there's a teepee in this forest. Yep, Yolandi, a real fucking teepee. If you were here, we'd be playing the clarinets in there, shredding it. Reed shredders. But um, I find it's so mesmerizing the, the way the forest speaks. Well, hello there, you. Yeah. Very protective dog. We've got all the most silent situations happening right now. But can we just talk about that? Look at that, the way that sun comes through the trees. And these forests are just spiritual. Just like fucking Link of Legends of the Zelda shit. But um, oftentimes I've come into these places and uh, here it is, there's the teepee. I've come into these places and just had some amazing reflective time. And um, Lisa, my friend and I took some photos here when the snow was up to our knees. And um, I think that it's hard sometimes for us to reconnect when we're living in a city and when we have so much around us inundating us with ideas and how to be that we lose touch sometimes of the simple connection that we have with mother nature mother mother earth oh gaia and i really feel like what i'm going to take away from this experience is 
what I always had. And I think a lot of us are on a journey expecting some miraculous answer to our life. And it's just one step at a time on the path that you're on into trusting deeper and more about the truth that we know who we are, the truth that we don't understand, the relationships around us, relationships that we create and relationships that are in place without our control. And I don't know if that's for like, for like maple syrup up there or what that bad boy is, but that's pretty cool. For like a long time, I want to say like almost even until like March, I'd walk down this area and I'd look into like this certain spot where there was like a, there was like a hole and, and um, it would be like still filled with ice. Like the earth was so cold like in the Yukon and there's nothing like the light out here and there's nothing like the Christmas. I just can't explain it unless you're here. That kept that snow cold even though the sun was out and it was just like floored at that. Anyway, just the trees. You know, I wanna do a shot like that in my painting. Like just the whole surrounding of the opening of the sky like that. It's just, it's magnificent. You know, the way the light falls on the trees. Everything knows what it's doing in nature, you know? And just like there's a path this way, there's a path that way, you know, there's path going behind me another direction. It's still, it's still the forest. And I think that the forest is a metaphor for God that all of us are in God, are in the forest, in God, you know, and his light is shining down on the path that's in front of us. And whatever path that is that you decide to take, you have to always remember that it's you that is in control. It's you that decides whether you want to stay in a place Oh, I can't even handle these poplar trees. If your hand's itchy, um, Rosie said to me to go and touch the tree. She said, just hold your hand on the tree. And I've done that just in general to just ground before. But if you just hold your hand on the tree, you know, these trees have been here hundreds of years longer than we have. Thousands of years even probably. And it actually f works. It calms me down. And the light is just getting even more magnificent here. It's like, I don't know. I miss the rain in Vancouver, which is weird because gross, but I'll miss the vibrant color of the Yukon. I feel like my pictures and my artwork are like that. Like in some weird way, I think our lives reflect what we're you know, like art feeds life and life feeds art kind of thing, you know? And let's just see this again. Look, we open to another clearing down here and there's even more, more, um, more trail. But there's an amazing lookout that is just down and around this bend here. And I think cars and shit drive around here. I walked down this one before, but there's an amazing bend where it comes out onto the real beautiful scene. And I'm just gonna come right back with that. I'm gonna take a minute to just walk up there first. So, catch you in a minute. Check out that sun. This trail just comes out to the Yukon in its blazing glory. Now this is the the trail that I love because it goes right out to this clearing where there's a bit of a pebble road. And this is all behind my house. This is all within about five minutes from my door. You can hear the highway, which is on the side here. 
But when you come out into, you can still see the trees there now. But um, this is it. All this dense trees just everywhere. And like those trees, I don't know, there's something about those trees. I feel like those trees get me. But it continues to walk out. I'll show you where in just a second. But this is my idea is this that I'm thinking of right now is that I believe artists are like criminals. And a criminal, they say, will always come back to the scene of the crime. And I feel like our lives as artists are a constant coming back to the scene of the crime. I feel like people, places, and things stay inside of you and it's hard to, to let them go sometimes. And I'll always be romantic like that. I feel like that, that's the way I am wired and I've tried to fight it and pretend that that's not the way I am, but no matter how much I'm moving forward in life, I'm always remembering a place and I never want to forget the beauty here out in the Yukon. The way that the North just forces you to st be still and the wildness that it comes with it at the same time. And so I know in a few months I'm going to be looking at this in the city with the buses flying by and the memories of my friends and the time that I spent here and how hard I worked and how much drama always seems to follow me. I'm still in denial that it's me, it's probably me. It's not you, it's me. But this is the spot where, doesn't this look so epic? And like, it's almost like a desert too, like this desert fucking north and northern wilderness. Five minutes of a across the mountains. You really realize that you're not so so big. You know, all of the things you're going through, life supports you, whether you will are willing to trust or not is up to you and these vans if these vans could speak i'm telling you they're my jans vans they're jans vans yeah everything you're going through right now someone else is going through too oh mighty river like a i don't know what this river is called but it's a pretty bomb too Yeah, and just reminding me, and look at there's Wolfgang. Well, who is that? It's my roommate's dog. <laughs> my dad. Hi, and there's my roommate. <laughs> That's the strange kind of shit I'm talking about. Like, you think things out here? And then they happen. Like Wolfgang comes ripping down. That's my roommate's dog. He's a cool. He's a cool dog. He's a rescue dog. He barks a lot at all. She teaches violin, and every single class, every day, same people that he's met every day. He barks at them. Without, without, a, without fail, he barks at them. And he's a really good dog. She named him Wolfgang because that's like Mozart. Get it? Like. Amadeus Wolfgang. But yeah, I love this forest. It's amazing. And I want to show it because I'm not going to be here anymore in Vancouver. In Vancouver, I'll be have other amazing things, but I already know that shit. I've been there. Like Salt Spring Island and um, Squamish. This reminds me a lot like Squamish, but nowhere near as epic. Like this, this Northwest Territories, like I need to flip this shit around. Can you just fucking get, get a load of this? It's so vast. And you see it through the trees here when I'm walking a little bit, but um, it's so vast. 
and I didn't even know this was here for like three months. I think it's like so much of the shit we're going through in our lives, it's like we don't even understand that our solution is right in front of our eyes. Isn't that the truth? So, so much, there's so many layers of, of lessons and adventure that's just all around you wherever you are and it's like if you start to think that I don't know like the idea of like you never see a red car until you have one and you never notice that every you never notice pregnant women until your mom or your girlfriend or you yourself are pregnant and it's like I think that's where it is like wherever you focus that's where it kind of happens that's more people coming here see you in a minute just, I'm gonna really, I'm never, I, I'm a city person, like fuck, I miss h and I used to sit at the Starbucks across from Starbucks, and I'm telling you, like, I, I miss the city, I do, like, I am a city boy through and through, plus I'm gay, so that's another reason why, but I am gonna miss this, and there's more people coming, people are so friendly here too. Everyone loves these trails right now. Everybody loves these trails. How could you not? It's amazing. the year of the dog which I am actually have never seen so many dogs like in the raddest scenarios like even my best friend from Vancouver one of my best friends Luke was just like riding down and all these dogs were in this car and he was like so cool I just laughed to myself because like I was downtown on Main Street the other day and there was like a little dog with a pair of glasses sitting on the edge in front of this store in a shop and then there was like two dogs in the back of a car like chilling it's like I just imagine like the city was like all dog people walking around in tuxedos with like dog heads like could you imagine maybe that's an idea for my next painting I actually want to do a painting of a fox in a tuxedo and I know that shit's probably already been done but I want to do it like my own way because the foxes here are amazing too and I never seen as many foxes as I saw on the Yukon like they're everywhere like they like in Vancouver like a raccoon is just like a fucking house cat like they're everywhere in the Yukon people are like oh whatever it's a little fox and I'm just like holy shit I've never seen foxes like that I mean you hear of them out in the woods or whatever but like never like the real deal oh yeah like this was kind of like what the other place was where it was deeper than that but like okay wait Okay, wait a minute. Remember before when I said that bus comes around on this turnaround? Well, I'm just coming out of where the trail is at the end of the forest is here. But this is like where the bus goes. Do, 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 do. Drives like all the way up here where this truck is coming. And then drives all the way around. And then goes back and circles out back to the house. Like so ghetto-ish. But you kind of get used to it. It's just like a little whip de do around here. I don't know, it doesn't, even go, it doesn't go down there that far, but it just comes, rips around, and it's out. Just like me. I'm out. 